this time on Shade Tree, we try and see where the jetting is and figure out where John is. I don't know. So, the only thing we've done so far is we removed the mod rings. And John says, seat of the pants, it feels better. We now have the wide band hooked up to it. And it's like at 12.8 idle. So, we got a little Opro on there and all that. And John says he can see it. So, he's going to take it out for a run. And try not to nuke it. Got the little guy today. He's having fun eating his chicken nuggets. Sounds like it spools better. So uh, fat. Very fat? Yeah. We're going to have to rewind the tape. Cause I, I was on US1. I was wanting yeah. to Well, just if you've seen kind of an area. But yeah, it's, it definitely goes fat. Mm -hmm. But I did get it up to nine pounds. Well, okay. What do you think, little man? Yeah? So... We've switched out the 135 main jets for 115s because that's what we had. And he's going to go take it for a ride now. He's being safe, putting a seatbelt on. And we'll see what that does. And the little guy is having fun. Oh, what, did you get stuck? You got, oh, you did. All right. Come on. Yeah, that's a thorn bush. Oh, you hear that? I hear it grind second gear. There's a Bubba car. So far what we've done is we took off the mod rings and we put um, 115 main jets. We went from a 135, which is what was in the car, down to a 115. Um, I would have liked to have done a slightly bit of less of a jump, but um, the main reason is because that's all we had. So if we absolutely have to, maybe we'll drill them to like a 120, but we're going to see how this goes so far. So it has 190 airs, it has 55 idles, no mod rings, the turbo emulsification tubes, and 115 airs, I mean uh, mains. So we're going to video that and um, see what John says, see how it feels. Not as much of a test drive this time. So, let's see. <laughs> I'm concerned you're not smiling. No way, Waylene. Waylene? It went like to 17. It wasn't even hardly building any boost. Okay. So, uh, we're going to probably have this... to drill something. <laughs> it flew off. <laughs> All right, so jet reaming in the sticks. You go to your local hardware store and you buy some hopefully correct size drill bits. Make sure you bring a mic from China and mic it. 
but we're trying to go for a 125 or a 130 main in that realm and we got all the jets out right now you can see we took the mod rings off they're no longer in there they're working pretty good without it got all our uh, jet stacks lined up here so we can kind of production run it John's got all the jets out of them already uh, the e-tubes so I'd say we shoot for the 125s because we can always go bigger but drilling the hole will actually be the fun part and we'll probably not show you that in case uh, John gets any more injuries yeah. <laughs> he's already been beat up by the car once but we do have right here a jet gauge so you know we're not going to go totally blind of Sometimes when you um, measure the drill bit, that's not actually the size it will be because it wallers the hole out a little bit. So we got the little jet gauges here. So we'll see how close they are to the standard drill sizes. And uh, hopefully we'll have a little video of it going and made it better. If not, you know, we'll have to do it all over again. Wow, John, you actually put the name brand of the air filter like in the correct spot where you can read it. Did you know that? Oh, you tried that? That was on purpose? Then what's the problem with the rest of the car? How come nothing else is on purpose? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> All right. It's got numbers on there. So this is 125s, thereabout, with the uh, good old jet ream. And John's going to go take it out for a test drive and see what it does now. It idles pretty good. Well, slight bit of smile, but I think we need 130s. Lean. 130s then? How lean? Pretty lean. Pretty lean. 16s. Wow. All right, 130s then. You know? Should uh, probably stick a jet gauge in that 135 that we took out and see if it's even a 135 and not like a 150. Yeah. You know, I'm starting to wonder that too. Because it didn't change much. No. So if it is, be five out again. Let's we'll see that 135 again. So this is why I guess you should check before you start jetting, because because it says it's a 135, this gauges go up to 150. That's 1.5 millimeters. And the jet is marked 135. They can't see that anyways. We're just going to have to take our word for it. And it fits in there with a little room to spare. So putting 117, 115s and 130s in there is way too small. So now we got to kind of predict. I'm thinking 145s because you already got them there. Because that's probably, if it has a little room, it's probably a 155, you know. And that would be. These are 155, so. That's probably what he did was drilled them, and then he was going to replace them with the real deal. Wait a minute, I got these carburetors from a friend. Well, that jerk Matt who, that uh, got you turboed probably drilled on the 155s from a long time ago. Yep, I usually grind off the numbers though, so it couldn't have been me. Maybe it was Ben. <laughs> we'll blame Ben. Okay, so. They fit into 140. I don't have a 145, but they don't fit to 150. Okay. So we're going to do this. Yeah. They probably are. If they have a little bit of wiggle, that's probably a 155. Okay. I've got 145. So. All right. So we'll get the we'll get the plane with jets one more time. Then I probably got to quit playing. So, you know, we'll get a, hopefully this thing jetted out pretty good today. And then we can add a blow-off valve tomorrow. Got it. Okay, so what have we actually done here? We've kind of gone a couple of steps backwards and we think we did something better, which doesn't seem right. But um, what we've done is we added our nifty galifty um, blow off valve and it seems to help. I, I, you know, we don't really have any proof, but it does seem the first to second gear doesn't have as much lag when you hit second gear before it had a pretty big lag to even build like two pounds. So. That does seem like the it's keeping the turbo a little spooled up faster 
and there is a sound now a little bit in like second and third gear um, we don't have the mod rings in anymore we took the mod rings out we have the turbo emulsification tubes in there we have a set of 180 airs and the main jets were marked 135s and we went way down thinking oh man you know, it's too fat and all that but the real deal was they were drilled um, to 155s and um, you know we didn't check we should have checked at first but we didn't so we put 115s in there at one point and we're like oh my gosh <laughs> and spent half the day yesterday playing with that and we didn't need to so we put the 150 back in the 155s back in the 180 airs the CB emulsification tubes and we dropped the idle jets down to 50s 50s and uh, it seems to be doing pretty good um, the time and we backed it down and it's in the mid 20s somewhere full advance it liked 30 better I really do say it, it likes 30 better but um you know we need to put the BTM in there and we can run 30 with no boost and then 25 with boost but you know for all the exhaust leaks it has and all that you know we've been beating on it pretty good it needs the accelerator pumps need to be played with a little more but um other than that it's actually doing pretty good so like 12 um 12 0 12 7 like at the the leanest it gets under boost and it was like thir mid 13s cruising so that's pretty good we're gonna keep it at that and uh go for a ride somewhere